Good morning, everyone. Today is another brand new day. Today, I would like to introduce to you my morning mind routine. I get lots of sunlight in the morning and drink a cup of water. This is how I start my day. Of course, I don't think about the same things every day. But I think that it is important to keep in mind what kind of attitude you have in the morning when starting the day. As I continue studying every day, I become paralyzed with anxiety about whether or not I'm doing the right thing. It feels like I'm fighting a lonely battle and there are many times that I just want to quit. But I can't quit here. Because I decided that I would persevere through these hardships until I succeed. It's up to you what kind of future you hold. When you wake up, keep in mind that a new day has begun. That a new day that will continue on to your future has begun. It was honestly really difficult to continue studying for the college entrance exams in order to take on my highly set goals because you don't even know if you will definitely be rewarded. But I think that's another reason to work hard. If everybody gets rewarded for taking on their challenges, everybody will just lightheartedly take on their challenges. To be under the fear that you won't be rewarded and to continue the same passion, attitude, and motivation is a really hard thing to do and also becomes an emotional and mental burden. But I've noticed that the people who are able to continue trying are the same people that have been told that they are seniors or are talented. You don't know if you will definitely succeed even if you try hard. And I understand that feeling deeply. But the people who have passed have gone through the same feelings, the same anxiety, and yet have still been able to do their best. There isn't a single person who has succeeded and yet has not tried their hardest. When you study for entrance exams, there are many times that you might give in, or times when things might not work out for you. But what about that? It's okay to fail. It's okay for things to not go your way. When that happens, I want you to think of this phrase. Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising up every time we fail. Isn't that a good quote? There were so many times that these words encouraged me. I mean, it's true. When you watch a movie or read a manga, there is never a protagonist who has everything good going on in their lives. Even if there is such a protagonist, I think that the characters who don't give up even when they fail or almost quit from their anxiety are more appealing. So, is it okay for the current you to quit right now? There is so much more meaning in getting back up. Think about that and try again. The world is full of hardships, but the world is also full of overcoming these hardships. The reality is not going to change, so we should be cheerful and have a positive attitude about it. The appearance of you confronting troublesome things is really appealing. Here's another word of wisdom. Experience is not what happens to you. It is what you do with what happens to you. These words are really breathtaking. I used to feel a type of failure each time my grades didn't go up or I didn't have high enough marks. And I used to think that that in itself was an experience. But that was just merely an event. What you do with this event and how you act afterwards, this is what an experience is. There's no time to be stopping. Every time there was something painful or troublesome that happened aside from my studying, I always fell down. 
But what's important is how you think after that and how you get out of that situation. Even though you can't change your past, you can change your future. These are words that we hear frequently, words that make us go back to the basics. But our future begins from this moment, not from tomorrow. If we want to change our future, we need to change this instant. Today is the future ahead of us. Today is another step towards our future. There is still something that we can't forget, and that is that we shouldn't forget why we are studying every day. As you go, something that is solid, something that is living strongly inside of you. I made sure to look at a paper in front of my desk every day. I tell myself that I will definitely pass every day. I want you to remember that your determination that you'll achieve your goals is the most important thing. And that's because even when things are tough, the reason that you can continue trying is by recalling the origin of your determination towards achieving your goals. It doesn't matter how big the goal is or how difficult it is to achieve it. It always seems impossible until it's done. Even the student that go to the university you aspire you're going to faced the hardships of entrance exams and passed. Saying that you can't do it and giving up is too wasteful. If you give up easily, you can't pass. The people who passed didn't give up. I always hated the idea of choosing something from fear. I always wanted my wishes and aspirations to be something special to reflect my decisions. Thinking about quitting because your grades won't get any higher after studying or about lowering your standards because you are too scared of failing are ways of thinking that I don't want to have an effect on my decisions in life. So I want your decisions to reflect your hopes, not your fears. Chase your dreams and let's do our best today. Thank you for watching. I wanted to introduce my mindset towards studying but it ended up being more of a message. I wanted to make this video in a way that when you watch this video, you feel inspired to work hard today. I hope that you watch this video before studying every day or while you take a little break. Oh, <laughs> I know my pronunciation is really bad so I'd advise you not to use it to practice listening. I'm also working hard to be better, so let's work hard together. I make videos to encourage and help students uh, study for their entrance exams, so if you want to see more videos like this, uh, please check them out. If you liked this video, make sure to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you next time, bye!